Well, all right. Without any further ado, your content isn't amazing, though. Oh that's, well, that's thank you. Thing. But you better be careful praising my content these days. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to make because my head. Have you seen those like to dislike ratios? You've been getting bodied. I have been. I've been getting. Well, I yes. am getting bodied too. My Bri I re uploaded a video about Brianna Taylor, and oh my mm -hmm. god. Yeah. The comment. It was like a seven-minute video, and I was like, you know, vandalizing the statue of Brianna Taylor was bad. Um. Anyway, next segment, and that it's got the amount of hatred. Like, I, it was, like, it was just, like, the gas chambers type comments in the oh, chat. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's funny. Um, You'd think that my video on Tim Pool would be the most toxic one that I have. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, But I have been getting some. It's been very fun this weekend uh, sifting through angry Tim Pool fan comments um, mm -hmm. instead of everything else. All right. So you want to get to this now that we got all yep. the boomerang out of the way? Sure. Sure. Right. So I, I've, I was able to go through basically everything. Okay, that's great. Um, I, I I thought it was, I was I was cutting it close because I was supposed to wake up at ten today to review everything again. I woke up at two. Oh damn! Uh, which is so I I did I was able to review everything in about like four hours. It was super difficult. Uh, while the music was playing, I was finishing the Reddit threads and fucking everything. So I was able to get the original video, the video you wanted me to review. I did review that. Thank you. And I went through the uh, Reddit thread, and we're probably going to go through that uh, after I get some of my comments and and uh, questions in. Absolutely. So I'm just going to be very clear about some ground rules i'm setting here mm -hmm. if i think this gets super toxic or yelly or anything or like any in that manner i'm shutting it down immediately and i'm just going to move on to a different segment because that's not why i'm doing this 100 uh, percent. i'm doing this because i've worked with you for a very long time indeed and uh i've i've worked with destiny uh, on a few occasions i just got back from doing it i've Excellent. worked with scrub on mm -hmm. a few occasions and he might even come with me to on wednesday yeah that's DC. awesome that's really fucking so, awesome. I am in, in this weird intersection with between all these communities, and I have a show where I specifically try to do this in the most productive way possible. And so I, I thought if there's anybody who could do this in a responsible manner, I thought – and I'm not trying to praise myself here, but I guess I thought that would be me. No, uh, so, I reflect that very much. In fact, uh, it, this morning uh, there were some people who were like, oh, wait, is Dylan going to go hard on you? Is Dylan going to be mean? And I said, no, I think Dylan's going to give me a fair shake. Now, he might go yeah. hard on me, but that will probably be fair. Yeah, uh, I, you're I've the told person everybody I trust I, most. I, yeah. I told I told everybody I'd interview you like I'd interview Dick Cheney. I'm not Fuck gonna yeah. go in there just to bully the guy. I'm going to I'm gonna ask him legitimate questions of people. Give me the Dick Cheney on. experience. I feel I mean, flattered like, by that. You are you're basically like relatively on the same moral level as Dick Cheney. True. Say, you know? Well, depends on who you listen to, that's for sure. I'm yeah. sure you saw that second clip there. Um yeah, I might be the new I might be the Dick Cheney of the left, uh, these days, it might seem. Um, but I don't know. All right, I guess so. Uh, I guess we'll okay. find out when I start so the I've, war. In Iraq. I've got about like twenty questions on this Ooh. notepad. We're not gonna get to all of them. It's fine. Take I've as many got, as you want. Uh, the Reddit thread. I've got everything I wanted to address. I got quotes. I got, I, and I have timestamps for a lot of this. So if you don't Thank think you. you've said it, I can give you a timestamp so you can review it. Absolutely. Um, some of these I forgot to put the timestamp down for. Sure. But I hope you can take my honesty on those ones. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So let's go. I'm just going to go to the top of the list. They're not in this particular order. I just wrote them down as I thought of them. Go for it. So some of these we might you might kind of go around the room. So okay. we're going to start with the conversation itself and the merits of the conversation, then into the drama aspects and the productivity uh, aspects. Sure. First, do you feel women have a part to play in upholding toxic masculinity at all? Absolutely. Yep. And I've discussed this um, uh, pretty extensively, in fact, on my channel. I do think that women have a, um, a pretty big part to play. Um, now, I don't think that that is, uh, you know, as, as large of a part um, as the role that men the primary and i say this as a class keep in mind that when i speak like this i'm talking about classes of people not necessarily individuals just because you know i believe that men as a class are the primary beneficiaries and the primary perpetrators of what we know as patriarchy that doesn't mean that all individual men are personally responsible for this but as a class mm -hmm. i do think um both men and women contribute to patriarchy and i can provide a lot of examples of this um one such example that i've uh that i talked about on friday when i was getting grilled by a lot of other content creators about this um was the example of like a tr like a what we would call a trophy wife like a trophy wife who benefits very greatly from having like a traditionally masculine husband who's the breadwinner mm -hmm. um and she might be very very comfortable with that style of life and she might even um judge 
other women for not having the same type of life that she does. And I think this is actually relatively common. Um, in fact, this is something I grew up around a lot. I grew up in a very extreme Christian background, um, and it was taught there that women are to be submissive to their husbands. And many of these women took those teachings seriously and would judge other women for not being submissive. So I absolutely 100% believe that women and men both have a, a, a role, but women absolutely have a role in upholding patriarchy, and those should be challenged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would like to ask you specifically about beneficiaries of the current system. Sure. Uh, the effects that have on the current system, because you, you do acknowledge that women do play a part in upholding the patriarchy. We've got that through. Absolutely. Now let's talk about the exact uh, benefits and negatives for different sides. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think anybody here in this debate has argued that the primary beneficiaries of this are not men. Right. Uh, this, it got more into specifics about uh, emotions and different things of that sort. Now, mm -hmm. Uh, emotions, relationships, uh, affirm uh, affirmations, and positivity being directed towards men. So, when it comes to how patriarchy has evolved as society has continued to grow and move along, mm -hmm. do you think that one of the negatives that men have experienced uh, because of the current setup of how relationships are set up and uh -huh. how the patriarchy is set up is that they could be exploited in some in some instances due to how chaser culture is designed around how men are supposed to pursue women and it's not supposed to be the other way around men pursue women yeah. they are supposed to achieve the woman mm -hmm. do the whole song and dance and hello my baby hello my darling mm -hmm. hello my ragtime gal and they're supposed to win the affection of the woman uh -huh. therefore if they are the ones going out there to do this mm -hmm. And it's not the women's job to do this. So any signs of affection being thrown at them and this structure that is currently set up within patriarchy, yeah, this is a sad bipart this is a sad kind of side effect of the current setup. E that was a bit of a complicated question, but um, yeah, it's, it's kind of complicated. I could yeah, try I to just simplify want to be, it. If, be sure, to like, Let me being... simplify it. It was a little okay. it was a little rug time. Due to our current uh, culture and how uh -huh. men are supposed to pursue women uh -huh. and go after women. Is this a is is this the a sad byproduct a sad byproduct a byproduct is that any affection shown towards men they have they see it as an avenue due to the oh, fuck I'm fucking it up give me it's a moment okay. give me I a think moment. I understand I what you're trying to say up. here maybe maybe I yeah. can reword it do I okay think no, that... no, okay, okay, okay no I'm mixing up two questions they're right next to each other I can start oh, right over sure sure do, sure due to how our chaser culture is set up and how men are supposed to pursue women uh -huh. are there instances that can be abusive where women exploit this culture to lead men on and exploit them for either financial or emotional benefit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Never contested that, but yes. Yep. Okay. Well, then that was I, I believe that. Absolutely. A hundred percent. I think, I mean, again, I think, um, I think that's a, a, that can be a really like that sort of like power imbalance can absolutely be abused. I've, I just don't, I just think that there are some times where, um, and again, so you acknowledge this is a benefit for women of the patriarchy, people who abuse the system, specific, specific women who abuse the system in this. Manner. Oh yes. Okay. So let me be clear about this. So like, yes. Do I think that the chaser culture is a general benefit for women? Not necessarily. However, I do think that there are women who can take advantage of that 100%. Um, I absolutely believe there are some women who are like, for example, I mean, the, the meme of course is like the getting free drinks, right? That you like, you know, you're like a, everybody's drinking and you, you, lead a guy on or whatever and then you get the free drinks like that is like the meme version um mm -hmm. yeah so 100 percent, i do believe that this is a that this is a thing that happens i do believe this is a potential benefit that women can gain from it i would not say i would not conclude that like women are the primary beneficiaries of that particular aspect but i do think there are some women who can absolutely um utilize that there's no doubts about that but, yeah. but you 100 percent. so you are acknowledging that in when it comes to dating mm -hmm. that one of the negatives can be that men could be exploited due to how the current setup is they are supposed yeah. to pursue women mm -hmm. and so uh, toxic individuals exploitive individuals mm -hmm. could manipulate men's emotions to get financial or other benefits out of absolutely. them absolutely while also giving them uh, while also leading them on so mm -hmm. to speak yeah absolutely oh, okay. i 100 agree with that i think that is certainly okay. a thing that's possible that and question. does happen yep that was a question i got a few times in dms i just wanted to get a clarification on that yeah okay. I, i'm i'm very some of these i am a little surprised that like people have it but i'm very happy to give my answer yep Okay, one second. So this is one that actually was you had a back and forth with him on, mm -hmm. and uh, it was about fooling the fire of the incel community. Yes, and uh, you were talking specifically about how the incel community 
Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of this is due to misconceptions about how women treat them. Like a woman calls them cute, and then they like, can I sleep with you? And they're like, no. And you're like, no, I'm going to tell now. Yeah. And this is how you talked about a lot of this. And those mm -hmm. instances most certainly exist. But do you think that not addressing issues like men's mental health, men's ex uh, experiences due to the so social dynamic we just talked about, like chasing women, uh -huh. or how uh, male victims of things like, like sexual assault and rape are things that can, can add fire to these kind of far off extremist communities of thinking that men are are the the target and victims in all these situations and can add fuel to the fire in these instance communities because we have yet to address these social dynamics where men have um and it's, these are issues that are not widely talked about where men have these uh, problems in the communities that are not widely discussed yes now um i will say that this is a little bit different than the the, the actual conversation that i had with yeah, the it, was a, it was a kind of it was a it was a branching off conversation yeah, it's on very different than what we said cell communities yeah. yeah it was in well that's why i'm, I'm trying yeah. to get to the heart of this question the incel communities the fact that it, it seemed like and this is how it came from me sure, sure it seemed like you were saying that the reason the incel community exists is because there's a lot of people like a woman calls them cute they say, what a fuck? The woman says no, and now they're like disaffected from society. Yeah. And I'm trying to see if you think that it's more complicated than that when it comes to there being legitimate grievances that can make people extremists in this manner. Of course, yeah. Obviously, I think it's significantly more complicated than that. Um, and, and I attempted to highlight this in our original conversation, but I think I'll be able to do it better now since the question is a little clearer. Um, yeah, I absolutely believe that. In fact, something I talk about frequently on my channel is men's mental health. I think it's incredibly important that we address these things. Um, of course, uh, much like uh, like I do think that the incel community and a lot of these like red pill MRA communities exploit these um, – these byproducts in the same way mind you that other reactionary movements do like for example a great example of this is how like white nationalists um which i don't by the way i think are worse than incels just so we know but but an example just so we have one of like white nationalists will exploit genuine economic anxiety in like say i don't know we could say the rust belt is this is the stereotype that they take that that genuine economic anxiety and frustration and pain of people in the rust belt who've been abandoned by our government and use that to stigmatize um you yeah, know they can become immigrants. far right extremists because right. they they've okay but uh, so but, but the point the, the, the point in bringing that up is that these communities manipulate and build on these things and we have to check those narratives in my so opinion I, I wanted to ask you about this mm. because scrub king said something different he said it in a different way but he said something somewhat similar to specifically about there being grievances and incel communities uh -huh. being created from these grievances and when this was posed to you and he asked you this question you you said not really you well, is this something you're moving on now if i'm if i'm remembering correctly we were not talking about incel community at all in fact i don't even at, at least uh, i watched the video this morning we didn't even the word incel wasn't even used until this about, would be towards the one minute to this would be towards the middle part the beginning part this would be about 30 minutes or before okay. around specific questions about the actual twitter post and meme uh this would be around that time i don't have a time for time for this okay but i, I do know that it would be in the it would be from the beginning part to about 30 minutes yeah if i remember correctly this particular segment we were talking specifically about streamers and the sentiment that was being expressed was about um i was uh i was saying that like i think that it's kind of unfair that women online are expected both to receive harassment and also to regularly talk about that harassment in order to apparently not fuel these spaces. And I don't think that's a good framing of the issue. Now, maybe some people disagree. Maybe some people might not have understood that. I think there's probably some lost in translation stuff. The fact of the matter is, I do think, I 100% think that, men, that men's mental health issues, the social issues that men face in our society are incredibly important. However, uh -huh. I don't think that that means that, that like people should impugn like female streamers or female public figures for not feeling personally comfortable with talking about every single bit of harassment that they engage with or that the wording that was used by in the original discussion i felt was a little bit unfair because it felt to me um like the scrub king was repeatedly saying like well you know the, the thing that causes this and i have a couple of timestamps of my own and notes and, and direct quotes of the thing that causes this is that you know female streamers aren't willing to talk about this stuff and i'm like well a lot of them are it's just that a lot of them then receive a second wave of harassment for ever talking about this and i can talk about a lot of specific examples of this one of the great examples being um being um uh for, for i think ferociously steph 
is a is a perfect example of this someone who was harassed and then um subsequently talked about that harassment maybe at sometimes a little bit like you know she was being a little too offhand but nonetheless was talking about the harassment she experienced and then received a second wave of harassment for ever talking about it in the first place and to me that seems very unfair and i think we need to recognize that like there are different ways of solving these problems and you can't always you can't say that like a so, w women just not talking about it I is actually, a problem i just checked and i did actually cite i for, i checked the back of the page and i sure. did actually cite specifically what Crub, scrub was starting to talk sure, sure, about sure. in this it's not a direct quote but it was basically my summation of what he was saying okay. scrub said that when you uh, were dismissing the problems of these the, these like the incelli community dismissing these problems yeah that what it creates uh that is what creates the incels. You did not agree with that and talked about how incels are misunderstanding, misunderstanding friendships. But what, uh, but what was not discussed here is the social dynamic that could send incels into these groups. Okay. So, so it seems. It oh, seems okay. To so me are we moving beyond just, what he asked? It, it, what, what I'm, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, of course. This is not okay. just about. This is about the discussion. Right. Overall. I'm just trying to be That's clear. That's why I'm asking you a different all. question. So it seemed like you would dis kind of playing down what creates these communities to an extent of it's like well it's just a bunch of angry dudes who you know mm -hmm. get turned down and eh, whatever okay i mean i personally think that's a little bit of an uncharitable interpretation of what i said and what i what i was doing there i just don't think that it's right to say that like um women not doing a thing is what creates these spaces because i don't think that's true i think there are very specific actors that create these spaces i mean for example the red pill community was like for like one of the one such example in the red pill community which is like incel adjacent in my opinion um yep. the red pill community was created but was like largely influenced by people like roosh v roosh v is a horrible con man who built a cult of personality where he told men these things so I don't think it's fair to say like, oh, women created these spaces. I don't even think it's fair to say men created these spaces. I think it's fair to say like these spaces are oftentimes created by malicious actors who have something to gain by telling people and by confirming potential biases that exist. Now, I do think and in our in my conversation with the Scrub King, I uh, was very clear um, to make sure we, we were clear that we both agreed that historically patriarchy does exist and that our culture still is very slanted in the way that we view women and women's sexuality and i think that's the case with that in mind so, so you agree here that it is more complicated than that and it is societal pressures that push people towards these groups absolutely uh, these individual experiences and malicious actors are the a third yes. thing you're talking about but here, i just don't think people it's... who are trying to exploit these people who are lonely and disenfranchised yes possibly. i agree with you on that i just want to be very clear that i i do not think it's i i am very careful and very resistant to language that would imply that women somehow have created incel spaces by not doing what the incels wanted and now i know that's not what he was trying to say at that point but i so want you know that this was not what scrub was trying to say yes but i never okay. i never said that he was trying to say i just said i want to be clear with my language because again we're doing this on a public platform so i want to make sure we're communicating communicating clearly not just to one another as best as we can but also to people who are coming to the conversation and the whole point of the conversation was to you know discuss these memes some of the um underlying assumptions that go into un how we understand these memes and yeah so again i was never i never i strongly assert i never accused um the scrub king at especially at that point in the conversation of of doing anything like that i just wanted to be very clear with the language and make sure that i was understanding what he was saying also keep in mind I don't really like again i don't know everybody so i have to ask questions in order to figure out what they think and what they what they're actually believing so yeah okay so that was uh that was the easy questions okay uh, sure. now we're gonna get into more choppy waters hit me so, with the hard ones was painting the agreement scrub was trying to make as a government mandated gf uh gf a blatant mischaracterization of what he was trying to push during this discussion and while during that discussion towards the end of it, when you say this towards him, mm -hmm. which was the last 5% of the conversation, the last 10 minutes when this came up, mm -hmm. he rejected it outright. Yes. He said he, it was very clear it was, it was something that offended him and it was offensive to him. Mm -hmm. and he has made clear since then that this has been a, a, a blatant mischaracterization of what he's trying to put forward. Sure. When you're coming in here and you're talking about bad, bad faith discussions, everybody's calling you bad faith. Mm -hmm. It, doesn't it kind of hard to say like look i'm not bad faith while you're titling your videos and characterizing the video huh? as something that had nothing to do with it and as a straw man of your opponent 
Um, no, I don't actually think so. And let me explain why. So I have a couple of things to say here. Do I, was that a, like, first of all, in the video itself, when I made the joke about the government mandated compliments, um, I was very, I literally said, no, no, listen, that was just a joke. I'm just making a poke at the conversation. And it had gotten I relatively- He didn't take it. He didn't take it well, obviously. Yeah, obviously. But I mean, that's hardly, but again, like, it wasn't as though I, I was the only one joking. Like he had been doing his own, you know, little dunks there saying I'm dumb as shit, all this sort of stuff. At that point, at that oh. point in the conversation, we had absolutely gotten to the point where we were getting a little spicy with it. I, I yeah. understand that, but I've, I've had, I've had clickbait videos before, but sure. like for instance, my dino video where mm -hmm. CTV and the, and the trans woman, he compares trans issues to Jurassic park. Right. But that was something that was a legitimate argument that was mm -hmm. made within the discussion. And that's why I titled it because it was something you were going to experience within that thing. Yeah. What you put there was something that had n never occurred during it. and was something you threw out there and was the title of the video. And it seemed Wait, what pretty was the, can you read me the title of the video again, real quick? Um, uh, government, um, I ha government mandated compliments from females. The Scrub King weighs in. Yes, that is the title of the video. I never said that he actually but that said that. that was not the topic of the discussion. Wait, it had nothing to do with the yeah. discussion. Uh, I, do I use clickbait in video titles? Absolutely. I have no problem with that. I've always done that. It's very open on my channel. Go scroll through my stuff. I even use silly... So Silly things, yeah, okay. but, but there's nothing yeah. nothing about the video, nothing about anything I said after that implies anything other than what do you do? Do we do we really are we really going to say that like no clickbait is allowed? Everyone does this. Well, you do no, this. Of course Describe not. I've King done does it. this. Go I've look done at his it. Channel. I've, I've eh. done it, but usually it's something that was discussed within the video. It was just something you kind of threw out there. And and the thing that that, that gets me about this is mm -hmm. you you're coming out and you're talking about how you're, you're getting a lot of heat and a lot sure, of it sure. i will tell you right off the bat i'm not going to defend if somebody in the middle of some random chatter says something extremely fat i've for example if i make a bad argument oh. right towards you mm -hmm. you're not going to defend somebody who comes to me as lamau you got raped funny you yeah, deserved yeah. it or something. absolutely of course and if somebody makes any comment towards you that's that's either and i've seen this transphobic bigoted or anything of any manner i'm mm -hmm. not going to defend that of course but when you open up with stuff like this and within the debate you have this as well it was the title you're yeah the title but like, we're talking about we're talking about but a, this was the last five minutes like five minutes of the video had nothing to do with the topic and he rejected that outright mm -hmm. and i i don't i get what you're saying it's clickbait but it's it's not even clickbait because it's i mean it is clickbait but it's like the worst possible possible version of clickbait because it's not even in the video it's not even a thing that happened. Well, let's 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 go on a couple of things here. First of all, you said you're not going to defend any random commenters. We're not talking about random commenters yeah. here, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we're talking and, about. And the I'm sure we're going to get to this, but sure. I just want to be clear: the degree of of like um, misinformation that's been going around. This is not from random commenters. This is from incredibly influential people, and including Descrub King himself. So. Um, it, do I think would I be willing to accept that like uh, I I had a clickbait title that I think was like not fair? Sure, um, but I I don't have a problem with clickbait. I don't have a problem when people clickbait me. You've clickbaited me. Like I mean, Chud Logic well, has clickbaited me. Well, but what was the what was the version of my clickbait? It was something that was in the video, occurred, and then yeah, it was maybe. like an actual point of it. Like sure. again, the CTV. My most blatant clickbait ever was conservative compares trans people to dinosaurs but that's actually happened in the video yeah. where your thing is governed mandated gfs mm -hmm. which no it's a discussion Wait, about that was a joke how men don't get affirmation it, it was a joke right. within the video but it, it did i did in my video title did i do anything other than make the joke that i made in the video which i thought was very funny did i ever like say like does scrub king uh, advocates for it. no i specifically didn't do that i just said the clickbait you title. made it as as on the line as physically possible to get away sure. with it as I physically mean, possible if you, you get that... close as close if i was like um should mm -hmm. black people get lynched uh conservative ways in dude right now no the thing is the reason why i do this and you're reacting like you are right now right you're reacting in a very why would you compare something like this to that and i would say yo that's a big stretch too but multiple times in a video you've said to a black content creator mm -hmm. and you're trying to compare multiple instances in it like about the structures of oppression mm -hmm. to also racism an instance of structural oppression multiple times sure. in the video about how these structures work and do you not think about when you were having this discussion with a black content creator, do you not think that maybe the stretches that were being made here were a little 
off base or wait little... do you have an example of one of those i genuinely don't think the i don't you know don't, you don't remember doing this wait wait i want to know what you're asking me you're asking you're saying that i made stretches that were um that were like potentially racist is that what you're asking me well what i'm what i'm asking you is when you were having this discussion and you were uh -huh. talking about these 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 structures and the different relationships here mm -hmm. um eventually when you're talking about individual instances or uh, individual uh, people being able to hold up structures of oppression eventually it got over to structures of oppression when it came to black people and it got i went over to you, you not you don't remember this yeah but i just don't know what this, I, I didn't I'm, say I'm, this because no, this happened multiple times in the video Dylan, 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 Dylan. I, i'm not i'm not like mad at you i'm just confused as to what you're ask, actually asking me here like i just feel like we've gone on a couple of different things so what are we actually talking about right now we're talking about do you, Okay, I'll, I'll Sorry, you know no, what, I'm I'll not, actually, listen, I'll I'm get back to you to... on this one because I want to get specific citations. Yeah. This one, I didn't have specific citations. It's fine, it's fine. Like, it's fine. Like, I'm it's not, I'm not mad video. at you or anything, just so you know. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what the question is. Do I think that I did a clickbait title? Was it like, kind of? You can get back to that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so sure. So let me, let me make a yeah. better, because I was going to use that to slide into the, your comments about race during the video. I'm, I'm, and then, by the way, I'm not accusing you of being racist. Okay, just, I mean, I know you're not, I'm just asking what you're trying to say. I'm being trying to be as clear as possible, right? What I'll do is I'll get citations. I'll send this to you in DMs because I Please think, do. again, I'm, my, my interest here is mostly... Yeah, I don't think um, any, just for the record, I don't think that any comparisons that I made with regard to race were ever, like, meant to be, like, like, they were never, like, meant to be contrarian. These were just like, oh, we can acknowledge there are some similarities between these structures. I don't think any point, at any point in the video so, I ever made... Yeah. So, let, let me let me give you a different example, right? Okay. Um, let's say... Um, I ha I had a video, mm -hmm. right, where mm -hmm. I brought on a um, a a let's say a conservative mm -hmm. of sorts, and I was like, and in the video it was something along like, um, government uh, gu uh gulags for for trans people or trans uh shocking the gay out of people, right? Mm -hmm. Shocking the gay out of people. CTV weighs in, mm -hmm. and it, during the last portion of the video, I was like, so you want to electrocute gay people? Of course, I don't want to electrocute gay people. That's horrible. That's torture. Mm -hmm. And I, I find that to be a gross mischaracterization of my of what I believe. Mm -hmm. And then I title that the video. Do you mm -hmm. not see how that that could be predatory? And it's during the end. And we all know how the YouTube algorithm works. People don't watch the majority of the video. If you look at viewer averages, most people watch like 10 to mm -hmm. 50 minutes into it. They're going to have that that title in their mind. It's going to be the most prominent thing they see. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the first thing they see. And, and it's only something that's brought up five minutes towards the end, immediately rejected. They're very obviously rejected, and they actually get take a, a pretty immediate offense to the assertion. And that's the title of the video. Do you not see this as maybe false advertising of what their beliefs might be? Um, because it's not maybe. even a question of debate. It's I mean, here's the thing. Like, debate. like uh, I, I feel like the reason why I was willing to do a bit of clickbait on the video, which I do – I'm, I'm never have said that I don't do clickbait on videos. It's basically required on YouTube and every person in this space does do it. But of course. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I could see how that would be. Uh, and if that was, if that was all that we'd been talking about was just the title of the video. If, so, if like the scrub King had sent a message to me been like, Hey, I kind of hate the title of your video. I would have changed it like that. Never got an, not a, never got a request. Nobody did. So, you know, we'll, if, if we want to say that this is the word, you know, this is the thing that I did wrong was titling the video incorrectly, despite the fact that literally in front of many, many people, I said, I don't think that the scrub king, the scrub king is a, is an incel or anything along those lines before the second conversation. We'll get to that. Um, the, then, the reason yeah, I bring it up is sure. because it was, it was within his, um, uh, his, his Reddit post, uh, that was on, it was one of his grievances yeah. that he wanted to bring I to recognize light that. And we scrub can, is in here to yeah. defend himself. So obviously I just need to use his own yeah and interestingly can. you know i wasn't there to defend myself against that and also um that that manifesto was published after the um un like genuinely terrifying and weird screaming match that destiny had with me with then right into for the eight minute yeah. video what's yeah. that I viewed the eight minute video. Yes, the eight minute video um, of Destiny yeah. screaming at me and then proceeding to afterwards immediately tell between seven and 10,000 people that I'm an active harm to women, an active harm to trans people, um, that I'm a piece of shit, subhuman piece of trash. And those are direct quotes, just so okay. you know. So by the way, yeah. this was something that was that was being yeah. discussed. Let me check the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so it wasn't. So did you at any point um did has has scrub king ever said anything uh about you and your relationship to the trans community that has been problematic 
uh, um, during this the Scrub debate. King himself has not no? stated anything um, okay. about the trans community. Now, that is not true about other such communities. Feminism well, is feminism and women. Do, no. That's true. But I don't believe I ever once said that Scrub King did. I think I made okay. a. I think I made it. Uh, wait. I gotta have it. I I know, but I know you're interviewing, but I also have to be able to talk because, like, yeah. this is something that's been spread all over the internet. Things that I said that I didn't actually say. They're they're like saying all this kind of stuff. Um, when it comes to that, Destiny absolutely did. And just so we know, um, while I was taking a lot of critique from various, like a lot of people came to, to give me their takes on this. Um, when I was doing that, Destiny went on with the Scrub King. Um who was there they were having a conversation and destiny went on a massive rant multiple times calling me subhuman saying i was a giant piece of trash multiple times saying i was an active harm to trans people the scrub king sat there and was laughing at that and never told him no i don't actually agree with that so do i will i say that i've never said that the scrub king actually himself personally said that um that i'm about trans people but he's absolutely signed off on it 100 percent. and i have video evidence of this i will be posting my video later in case people okay. just don't want to do it why yeah. why was it i was going to slide to another session but this sure. is this is made its own deviation so i have to mm -hmm. be here now so why was the why was it the argument they were making mm -hmm. why were they saying you were an active harm to trans people because from what i could tell from the argument that was being made was that you're looking at me very no like, no no i'm right i'm now. that's my own wait I, i'm sorry dude, I'm, I'm i'm not like making faces at you i'm just thinking like i'm, I'm an emotive person oh, no worries you're yeah. you're very emotive you make a great wrestler yeah um well, thank you i wish i wish i could yeah so the thing that that what i was getting from the video is that the way that you um they, this is the only phrase for it a quote unquote debate pro the way you go into discussions and that they saw you interacted with scrub in such an mm -hmm. un, in, in, in unfaithful way mm -hmm. that you paint uh feminism and the community uh in a bad light and therefore are undermining the movement from your um from your presence here that's the argument yeah. that i heard from it uh the only other example i could do in a comparative example would be like if a conservative came on my show and every time he came on he gave the worst possible argument and acted mean to everyone a great example may be um the jack am discussion no matter what you feel about jack am as a person I don't right think about jack am's Jack AM's inner, he had a debate with uh, Destiny at one point uh -huh. where he came off very, very bad. Sure. And no matter what he uh, was advocating for, whether it was right or wrong, due to how bad he came off, it under it probably would undermine anything he was trying to push. And so I okay. think that was the argument that was being pushed is that the, the way you interact on the space, the way you debate pro stuff, the way you, you didn't give, and this is not me, so I'm just pointing this to you. Yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm you, sorry. The way that you debate Broad in this instance and the way you interacted with Scrub mm -hmm. came off so bad that you actively inter undermined the movement. Oh, um, well, uh, that would be interesting if that's what they had actually said, and I would have still disagree with that. And I just like, I guess I would just say at this point, I would just ask the audience, like, is this appropriate? Is it appropriate to scream at someone who, even if I, let's say, let's make the assumption that I was the worst faith person in my one conversation I had with the Scrub King. Do we really think it's okay for large streamers to then label that person a harm to a community that they don't even belong to? Like, Destiny does not belong to the trans community. Destiny is not a woman. The Scrub King does not belong to the trans community. The Scrub King is not a woman. Do you think that they have the right to make direct, extreme accusations against me? And do you think that's fair? Even if I did, let's assume I did, and I don't think I did for the record. Even mm -hmm. if I did engage in bad faith, do we really think that's fair? Do not do we not think that that is literally straight out of the playbook of the right wing, of the far right, that say the model minority, that I'm supposed to be like, oh, she's not a good enough trans person, therefore she should be out of the public eye? And mind no. you, and mind you, no. that is not a stretch. Destiny literally said, and wait, I- Wait, wait, we're, we're, moving, we're moving really far. We're moving well, you gave me a very saying, long question. You, you, yeah, I did give you a yeah. long question, yeah. but uh, it was, I just want to take these one at a time quickly, just specifically about the model minority thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if this is comparable because we're specifically talking about, you are an activist. I would assume you would label yourself as an activist. I, I or label myself as, as a political edutainer. Yes. Yeah, you, 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 your job here is to educate people on politics, right? Mm -hmm. So if you are doing it in a way that is unproductive or harmful or is under or, or comes off very bad for sure. the movement, couldn't that undercut other people who are trying to push 
feminism, for example? Uh, yes, I think that it, I think that it potentially could. However, I would say that an accusation of such a thing would require a lot of evidence, especially to the seriousness with which these accusations were made. And I don't think any such evidence has been provided. Even if their personal feeling was that I'm somehow undermining the movement, which again, un I was not just told that I was undermining women, but that I was undermining trans people. And in the words of Destiny, which Scrub King has signed off on and not contested at any point, um, that I was harming every social justice um, cause that they believe in is a massive mm -hmm. accusation. And I, I find it very shocking that so many people are willing to take that accusation at face value without ever actually asking if it's true or what evidence there is of that thing besides just the rage of a very influential streamer and that, to me that is very unjust and i think that's very unfair not just unfair i think it's actually really harmful and they've been advocating for me to be deplatformed even on your post on twitter there were people from these audiences saying do yeah, not talk that. her yeah i know you did yeah. i'm not accusing you of any of this obviously i think you saw i responded to it, yeah right? i did exactly but you can see that this has been per propagating in fact on destiny subreddit there have been not one but multiple threads of people uh, specifically saying to go report my video repeatedly for transphobia. This is the level of degree um, so, that their that their accusations are leading to, and they don't have so, any evidence for it. I will not defend anybody going to deplatform you. Anybody Please. who deplatform you, or and I will tell my mods if anybody in my chat advocates to de uh, to like report your videos, anything like that, mm -hmm. insta ban them. I don't want them okay. in my community. Uh, but I'm what we, let's talk about. Obviously, I can't review all of your content in, in a day, so I was mm -hmm. not able to review if uh, you are or undermining the movement overall through all of your content. I've interacted with you broadly, and I personally don't think that you are doing that. But now, also, but let's well, root, well let me, on that. Hold on, this is a very... follow-up question, though. Okay, fine. Because that's fine. I got. I sure. There's only so much. There's only so much time. We've already done 45 minutes. Okay, all right. So we and, and we haven't that's even gotten to a lot of the meat I just of the feel, issues. The the only thing I want to say on that, if I can just say one yep. thing on that, that's okay, all. Okay, I'll give you just 10 one, seconds. Just one. All I want to say is that I feel like that is a very very big accusation. Okay, huge. There you go. Okay, big accusation. But okay, let's say we can't. Obviously, we can't do it through a larger movement looking at everything that you ever said. Ever. No data. Yeah, obviously, exactly. I can't, no I, data. I can't do no that nothing. Right now. Yeah. But Just what feelings. we can do is we can look at the specific conversation and say, did this specific conversation do it? But we can't do that. We can't say, yeah, was yeah. this specific but... conversation harmful or beneficial to feminism? Sure. That we can do. Mm -hmm. And so, but let's say that is not what they were talking about. Just so we know. Well, that is what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm just I'm just making it clear to the okay. audience that I you are asking, asking this I'm question. I'm going to yeah. ask that question. That's not what they I said. I am Dylan, and I am not Destiny or Disrupt King. Yes, but by so, the nature of the conversation, we got it. Yes. Yeah. So they, but they also said, you know, you were bad faith in different manners. So I, I went through the video and tried to mark down in the first video with this was the first time you interacted mm -hmm. off this, right? Sure, sure. What kicked it all off and spiraled out of control. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, the original title is something that's been contested yes. and something that uh, we've already discussed. Also, within the video, you called the Scrub King a clown, a weaselly liar, and you also would call called him incelly. And later, they, we do have a quote about you basically calling him an incel later. Yes, much if later. Yes, yeah, significantly later. Yeah, I know the quote. I can actually but, but, repeat yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah. I have, I'm talking about the specific first instance that kicked it all mm -hmm. off. Do you think that interacting with the Scrub King in that manner, in that video, help the cause or hurt the cause and if we're talking off the destiny argument of you're undermining people um i think that is uh, i don't i don't first of all i don't think no it didn't hurt the cause but secondly i don't think it did necessarily either of those things this was just a random one-off conversation i have had th hundreds of debates over the last year to to take to try and make an accusation that i'm harming the cause of feminism even in one conversation is outrageous that is an outrageous mm -hmm. accusation and I, I i contest this accusation i think this is an unbelievable accusation being lobbied against me even if i call and and i will agree that the and i've said this literally since the day it happened the second half of the conversation did indeed get spicy there were some name calling back and forth and it wasn't just me even though it's been presented as predominantly me there was definitely some back and forth dunking going going on um and if that's the case if name calling during a conversation is harming feminism well i would like to i would like to submit to the the the, the jury of the public that uh the scrub king and destiny's entire career has also included a significant amount of name calling i don't think that this is a even close to justifiable thing to try and make the claim that i'm undermining feminism that is a ridiculous and outlandish claim Okay. And I think everyone should know that. I think everyone involved in this knows this. And I think 
I'm not gonna be completely. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna be completely honest. I think Destiny knows this too. This is an outrageous and outlandish claim. Okay. Yep. Uh, do you think men get a lot of attention from women in a non-romantic way? Do I think men get a lot of attention from women in a non-romantic way? Um, yes. Yeah, I think some men do. Yeah. I think some men do. Now, all men? I don't know. That's really fucking hard. That's a huge question. There's a lot of men in the world. Um, but I think some men definitely do. And uh, I take from this my, you know, partially of this is, is anecdotal. The men in my life get a lot of um, non-romantic positive attention from me and from the women in my life. And I've talked to a lot of women and a lot of men in my life since this conversation to sort of do just, you know, a little sanity check. And as it turns out, you know, there are a lot of um you know there are a lot of men who do um receive this now i don't know how big it is i can't wait, say wait. you yeah. said some and then it's a lot is it some or a lot wait wait i mean i don't w it depends on the scope i meant in my life when i'm re referring to my life there's a lot of men in my life okay. who have reported that they receive positive attention from women now i don't know about the, okay. the the whole scale of the world that's very hard for me to tell now i would be i think it would be safe to say that there are a lot of men who don't probably receive a lot of positive attention from men. I think that's a, like, I mean, from women, um, I think that's, like, really, really unfortunate, and I think it's a problem, but, like, we were trying to sort this out, and I, I, there's a lot of parts of discussing about this, but the fact of the matter is, yes, I think there are a lot of men who do not receive a lot of positive um, attention from women. I think there are specific reasons for this, but it's really hard. Um, at the end of the day, there are absolutely men who receive a lot of um, positive attention, and they're not always, like, like, like stellar hunks like carved from olympus i think there are there are mm -hmm. you know men who receive attention now it's very hard to determine numbers without having actual data but neither of us came well, into that conversation well, let me data. let me ask you this question sure. then do you think on average and this mm -hmm. is a question from chat sure do you think on average men get less compliments than women yeah probably and the reason that i think that is because women pay each other a lot of compliments women pay each other a lot of compliments this is like like the predominant experience i've had being a woman is that my female friends are so unbelievably kind like women compliment each other constantly and usually and and i mean it seems to be because they feel safe doing so now of course these are a little bit bigger conversations but um Again, I receive so many kind compliments from my female friends. I give so many compliments to my oh. female friends. So I don't know about, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm. Let's get more specific sure. on the conversation off of just like, because the interactions between men and men, I know that was something that came up, uh -huh. but let, let's get more specific. When do you think men on average compliment women more or mm -hmm. women compliment men more on average? On average? Yeah, um overall you know yeah do you, do you i think, think i think more? it's probably like um hmm. i think probably men compliment women more on average by and large okay. yeah now i don't know do you... i don't know the nature of those compliments but yeah i think that's probably true mm -hmm. okay yeah because I, I i know why watching the discussion because it made me think about it for a little bit and personally i remember there's one instance that stands out to me when i was younger mm -hmm. uh where somebody complimented my uh said your eyes look pretty a girl mm -hmm. once said my eyes look pretty and that stuck with me forever and that's yeah. the only and it, it like it has a weirdly like saved memory it's like a core memory yeah you know from that movie uh inside out it's one yeah, of those yeah. core memories that are in there uh -huh. and that is something that i've seen uh from like le reading other men's testimony that's something that men did not get a lot of positive affirmations mm -hmm. from women when they were younger as they got older and even today mm -hmm. and it's not something they experience a lot of yeah and this is where we're getting to the core of the discussion sure and i think this is something you agree with right mm -hmm. because it seems that we're, we're agreeing here we are in agreement yep why do you think that is because in the video it seemed that you were trying to say men were at fault for this scenario and i and i can i can find i i i remember hearing multiple times when it when it got heated towards the end you do saying that men were at fault and the reason they were at fault was because but I don't think I said they were at fault, because, but sure. All right. Yeah. Was because of when women give men compliments, that leads to men thinking, oh, this woman has sex with me. It leads to stalking. It leads to a lot of things. Uh -huh. And so the patriarchy here mm. is causing this scenario. Patriarchy controlled by men, men's fault. That's what seemed to be the analysis okay. you were doing towards the end. And, yeah. I, and I do remember 
hearing like like when the question was thrown whose fault is it men's fault did come out at some point mm, uh maybe. now obviously it was he getting heated and maybe you want to realign yourself there or or maybe it was a misnomer if i or maybe i'm remembering it wrong yeah but that's what i remember i mean i can just so state my, my, question my opinion too, on this yeah i would like to hear your opinion yeah absolutely opinion. um i do think that this is a product of the patriarchy um mm -hmm. Um, but I don't think this is the fault of like individual men. I think that, um, although, uh, I will say that there are like specifically problematic men that do, um, largely contribute, that I would say largely contribute to this problem. So for example, say you have like a, um, like a really, really aggressive, like sexually aggressive man. Um, who takes every single compliment as, um, you know, as like, a, oh, this is an invitation for me to flirt and mack on somebody really, really hard. That person might go and um, severely terrify or traumatize a lot of women. And if that becomes, if that's normalized or if that's never dealt with, then that person is going to harm a lot of women throughout the course of their life. Even if a lot of other men um, don't necessarily engage in that behavior, the fact that the patriarchy allows for that to happen um, as it currently stands is a huge issue. Um, and I do think that that is true. Um, uh, I think that if you talk to women creators, uh, especially, um, this is something that comes up a lot on even on like panels I've been on with all women. Um, but women get an incredible amount of of sexual um, attention and scrutiny that they never ask for um, all mm -hmm. the time. And this happens so much, um, largely in male dominated spaces, I'm not saying that it that, that that it's possible to ever clean up all of it, but we can recognize this is a huge problem, right? The example I used in the conversation that we were have that I was having with the Scrub King was about the VTubers. Like when I went and checked out a VTuber launch stream, and there was just an entire wall of people, um, different users asking, "What's the size of your feet? What, what, how big are your boobs? How tall are you?" Uh, to a VTuber, to a digital character that's voice acted, like this is a huge endemic problem. Now. I don't think I would describe that this is like the fault of men because that's not the language that I really use. But I do think that men have a big part as being a part of the patriarchy. They have a big part mm -hmm. in challenging this among other also? men. What's that? Do women also? Um, yeah, but there's but what can women like what can women do about men normalizing that aggression? Well, like that's the thing. That's it. a hard question, I think. Well, but yeah, I do. I do well, think I mean, that women I, have a part of it. Yeah. In inherently, though, women uh -huh. have the power to give compliments. They have control over their own words, True. right? Right. right. If you were to say, Dylan, uh, mm -hmm. you're obviously the best streamer on Twitch. You're going to be the best. You're always the best. I mean, you tell me this like often in private. Yes, I do. Yes. Um, yes. Constantly. You throw it at me like, Dylan, um, I, I, if I give you, can you have, here's my social security number. Just buy whatever you want. Constantly. Precisely. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know my so, social security number could buy things, but hell yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean you want to be just like, you know, give, you give me your credit card information, give me everything. It's great. Uh, it's wonderful. But the thing is. Mm -hmm. You were the person to use those words. You're the person to say that. Women would be the individuals giving the compliments. So inherently here, there, in order for this to be normalized, these compliments are going to have to start happening. There's going to have to be discussion about men being needing this type of positive affirmations. And it's there's going to have to be some message given to, to, to women broadly as a class that men deserve compliments as well. They deserve positive affirmations mm -hmm. as well. But so no matter no matter what we what discussion we have about men and the patriarchy mm. and that's impact on this discussion mm. women are the women uh, women are the women are the women who have control over the words they are the person who can get compliments. except there's a little problem with this and this was something that i tried to discuss with the scrub king which is assuming that the only compliments that matter are compliments that come from women and i do not think that's the case part of the reason why i think the culture around compliments specifically is healthier on the women's side of thing is because women compliment each other all the time. And I don't, I do not believe, and I may be completely wrong on this, but as far as I know, this is also reflected in data that men do this nearly as frequently with one another. I think that the problem can be addressed, not by immediately saying like, women, you need to start, you know, taking personal risk which it is we've we acknowledge this this was agreed upon by both me and describing that it is a personal risk for women to pay a lot of compliments to men because there are a lot of men out there who will engage in this type of behavior you know this is all the setup that we were getting to 
I think it's very important that men recognize, wait a second, why aren't we also complimenting one another? And what that could do is start to change the process. And then you would start to see women pay men more compliments. But the thing is, like, again, the conversation we had was very, very heteronormative as well. But the fact of the matter is, I think compliments from anyone are important. And I think that that part of the reason why many men feel so compliment starved is because they're not also getting it from other men in their social spaces, which is different. Women do compliment all each other all the well, time. Well, what, what the thing is, if you're getting compliments from 100% of society and the other person's getting compliments from 50% of society, mm -hmm. do you not see the type of psychological effect that could have on the person who's getting 50% compared to the 100%? So mm -hmm. even if in this scenario, and we were to say that men are, are not complimenting each other enough. Right. Even if that was to occur, that still would not that would not account for the fact that they're not getting compliments from the other sex, which is having a negative impact on their mental health. But that that sidesteps. Wait, that sidesteps the risk that we're talking about. Because here's the thing: there isn't a risk at. The, I mean, there's or there is some risk obviously, but we're talking significantly smaller risk of intergender compliments. You know, most of the world is het. That's just a fact of, the, of reality. So there's no risk for a woman complimenting another woman, and there's very little risk of a man complimenting another man um, in the same way that we were talking about. But there is currently, and, and this was outlined very clearly in the conversation. I mean, again, at the very beginning, before it even got even a little bit spicy, the very beginning, we established that um, the scrub king believes that even so much as saying someone is cute would be in his words 100 percent justifiably interpreted as flirting so i uh, now you see how that can make there's there's a well, price that has to be paid that women have to pay that men would not have to pay in that situation the thing, the thing is what the scrub king was trying to get across and the, he agreed with this later on he said this multiple times he said okay. this post the fact sure that he wants to create a society where we create an environment where women feel safe to do this so mm -hmm. everyone benefits, right? Sure. And we need to create a society that does that. I agree. And one of those things for that to work is to normalize this happening too because mm -hmm. even if it's safe for somebody to do it, yes. that doesn't mean they're going to do it. Right. But I, what I'm saying is all that I've ever been asking for in this conversation, all that I ever was trying to bring attention to was the fact that the – ask that's being made of women as a class is to take a personal risk that could have significantly worth worse harm um <laughs> oh the little pompo popping yeah, up the frog yeah, <laughs> it went on my face i didn't even mean to uh, but the uh the the risk the, there is a material risk that women have to take in doing that and we should acknowledge that and recognize okay so if we're trying to solve this as a society that maybe the first way that we can start doing this is not by asking women to take personal risk and compliment men right like necessarily we should try to normalize that but we should at the same time very very much be saying men you guys got to pay each other compliments so that these things get normalized so that it's not such a high stakes endeavor because the risk isn't on men men when if a man gets paid a compliment and then decides and then and is, is happy with it hey great no risk if a if a woman pays a man a compliment and that comp that man interprets it as we discussed is a huge problem as a sexual invitation that man might do a lot of things that could really harm that woman so what i'm tr all i've ever been trying to do in any of this conversation which of course has been horrifically mischaracterized was bring attention to the fact that because of the pre-existing structures of patriarchy this has to be taken seriously because women do take a material risk in paying more compliments and it goes of course go, this conversation goes even bigger when you get to further engagements beyond compliments including flirting and there is a freezing effect when there's one party that's being most negatively and directly impacted and i do agree that men as a whole as a class are suffering as a result of not getting compliments but it is individual women who are bearing the brunt of this do you see how that do you see how that plays out the, the thing that's getting me here is when it comes to the environment that needs to be created, you two never really disagreed on it. Yeah, I, I you, agree with you that. You two didn't yeah. disagree when it comes to the environment that needs to be created. No, we don't. You, um, Even though at times it seems like maybe, for example, you like when he said like this could maybe be something, the, the lack of uh, compliments could, and it seems like, you, uh, and he said this lack of compliments could lead to like higher suicide rates, for example, and you mm -hmm. did kind of dismiss that. No, I don't think I did. I that, that is something I'm 100% certain of. Wait, you I kind of dismissed like, that? I don't think I ever did. I, I will get the clip on that one. Give me I a would love to have the clip on that one. I don't believe I ever dismissed that. That I is ridiculous. I should, like, 
I should have a one second. I have to actually go in my history. Yeah, uh, that's one I haven't heard. But if if that if that is something that happened, or if it was interpreted that way, I would very I would very gladly clarify or walk that one back. But I don't okay, believe I've moment. ever said anything like that. Oh God, I wish I had a timestamp for I it. I wish you did too, because I don't think I ever said that. It's and it's I I I, I mean that goes against everything I believe in. Like um, I don't I, I don't believe in downplaying suicide rates ever. In fact, well, no, no, no. I, I, it wasn't. Fact, it wasn't. It wasn't. Just, no, no, no. It wasn't that you just downplayed suicide rates. It was that you downplayed the compliments as being a factor that on the that that contributed to it. Mm, I don't know that I did that, but all right. If you can find us t a time clamp, chat. I I I don't have the timestamp, and it's a two oh, hour foot video. Sure, so if chat could find know, this for the, me, I'd but, appreciate it. But this it. is a, like again. Now, if something like that was interpreted, if I said something along those lines, now I am telling you right now, and this is in the face of massive accusations against me of being bad faith. I will gladly say that I either I don't believe I ever said that, but if I ever said that, I will say that I was one hundred percent wrong on that. Okay, we can um, get back to that. Yeah, we I have do think I, I do, but yeah. but keep in mind that we were at, just another thing to keep in mind when we got to the point where we were talking about that. That had already gotten into the part where I think that it was very spicy. And again, I attest that I don't think I was the only one who contributed to being t spicy. And I would challenge people to try and watch the to try and watch the actual video that that oh, was actually. put out as opposed to just the leading coverage that was done of it, which there was a lot of that. How Most you, people who. I most people who saw this did not see my conversation or the Scrub King's does, conversation. Does Instead, anybody in chat know how to look at the transcript so I can just like type in like suicide or something? Um, because I know it came up. I, I know sure. it's going to come up, so it's either going to disprove or prove. It's right? just this is the thing that's been very um, frustrating to me, Dylan. I, I hope uh, you'll understand yeah. that there have been an incredible amount of accusations about things that I've said, most of which are completely and utterly false or misrepresented, mm -hmm. and that has been used to justify. Uh, a genuine cancellation campaign where people are literally trying to have me remove destiny and i i can we i really would like to get to the part where we talk about how wild mm -hmm. this is actually gotten. An, because keep in mind what's left. that give me a moment i think i might have found it give me a moment sure please i'll watch it on stream give me yes. a moment yep it's fine will be will you be able to pipe that out to me or um sure one, one moment um it's about tw it's your original video government mandated compliments oh. for females 29 seconds uh, 29 minutes 50 and it's going to be till about 29 35 something around there 29 40 okay. is when you probably respond to it okay are you gonna play it yeah i'm playing on stream right now okay are you gonna pipe it out or no because okay, my, okay, my just, well i'm just asking I'm just like, One moment. i mean you could send me the link but just like i mean i'm trying to make this work here there you go you see it uh yeah let's see here we go. Let's okay. watch this. Let's watch it. Okay. It might not be true in the larger picture. Like, for example... Um, well, no, I think you can say absolutely, objectively true statements that play into a larger... Well, yeah, but I mean, like, like, narrative. like, I mean, there's all kinds of things that are used like that. Like, I mean, like, um, people say, like, uh, I'm trying to think of some examples of, like, objectively, objectively true, quote-unquote, things. Like, for example, um, one, one, one that gets weaponized against trans people all the time. Oh, I might just be, is, this like, might be the wrong suicide clip. This, I didn't know suicide was brought up months, but let's yeah, see if this is right I think you're, month. I think you're really, people, um, uh, misremembering this uh, one here. No, no, I'm right. This just, you brought up suicide wait, more than once for the debate. You're right. Sorry, wait a minute. Suicide. No, 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 no. Give me a, fine. One second. Let's see if how many times suicide Dude, is brought up. Because it, give me a moment. Fair. Give me a moment. Give me a moment because it could that's be brought up fair. more than once in a discussion. Give me a moment. We didn't even watch the whole clip yet. I know, but that's not fair. Uh, that's Give me a moment. Give me a moment here. Give me a moment. Okay, so, let's finish it. Being projected, it's being uh, presented in a way to, as to be manipulative. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Oh, um, yeah. Sure. Somebody brought but up I, in chat think... black crime statistics is another one where the the, the statistics yeah, are true, example, but the presentation is black crime. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I, I'm just more familiar with the 40% one because I'm trans. So, you know, it comes to that sort of thing comes to me um, pretty frequently. So that's the same type of thing. And I would argue that like this meme is kind of like that. Like it might this. I am 100% certain this happened because I remembered it happened. Oh. I wrote it down and then I read the Reddit post and it was here too. So I'm just going to have to wait till the end of the video. If they check can't find at the end of the video, no, I'll I, personally I, apologize for getting it look, wrong. Look, I, I love, I love you, but this is, this is one of those things where, uh, this has been what's been happening. People say yeah, chat's telling me I'm right too. I mean, chat could be wrong, Wait, and I could chat be wrong. Is telling and you? the Reddit. Wait, no, my... my chat's telling me 
I remember it. The Reddit thread has it in it. So it's like, it's multiple okay. things. 72 I mean, minutes and 72 minutes The, the, okay, the Reddit thread, by the way, the Reddit thread has like a lot, like an absolute lot of, of, of 72 minutes accusations Sweet. in it. Let's see. So that's an hour. And so that's 60. That's 70. That'd be about 12. This would be right here, maybe. Same thing and suffering as a result. So for example, like I said, um, and I mean, you can look up the stats on this. The stats are very available on the, on the, on the, um, how common stalking, sexual harassment, the sexual stats assault. The are also there on how often men blow their brains out because they're- Oh, here it is. Yes, are. and guess what? But you, but guess what? I think that you know for a fact that, um, the suicide rates among men is not even close to only caused because women don't pay them a compliment okay what did i say no. there that was wait, there, wait you, there it is wait, wait wait here here it is you, did, you didn't let it finish go ahead let's let hear it finish. It. Um, the suicide rates among men is not even close to only caused because women don't pay them a compliment enough big part of it no i don't are you are you are you memeing at this point yeah are you memeing at this point when he says that it could be a big cause of it that's the fact that he's not getting positive affirmations Wait, okay. from other people. I think this is an incredibly, I'm sorry, Dylan, but I think this is an incredibly uncharitable interpretation of my conversation. I think that exactly what I said there was, uh, we know I never dismissed this is this is framing me as dismissing suicide stats by saying that's that what I, the Reddit post said. I don't, no, I don't think yeah, that's what no, it, but, that's but, interesting. Wait, wait, hold on. It's my turn to say one thing now, please. This is really okay, important because something. the Reddit post has accused me of all kinds of things that thousands and thousands of people have now run with as fact. And as it turns uh -huh. out, upon closer inspection, none of those things are actually true. Well, I never problem, wait, I okay. never downplayed oh. in this clip, you know. I never downplayed the suicide rate in this clip. I simply said that it is really, really, really misleading to say that compliments are the only or even the biggest part of what leads to suicide rates among men. We know, we know that's factually false. I'm sorry. It is, I do think it's a contributing factor, but it's not even close to the biggest thing. Men, the suicide made among, among, among men is number one, the number one reason why the suicide rate among men is so high is because they choose more lethal methods. That's the number one reason. And that's not to say that there aren't other reasons that lead them to that place, but men and women have similar rates of attempting suicide, but men succeed more frequently because they tend to choose a gun instead of a pill. Now that's so a fact. The, so So the thing the thing okay, so the thing that gets gets me about this isn't the fact though so anybody saying that the main reason men kill themselves is because no one called them pretty or nobody has given them positive affirmations. Obviously that's ridiculous. You're agreeing with he, me then. Let me let me finish let me finish, Demon Mom. All right. Okay, I'm just saying the di Sorry, I didn't know you were go ahead. Go ahead. The the difference here primarily is that he says You say is that the only that's not the only reason he uh -huh. counters not saying it's the only reason but saying I, I think it's a big contributor and then you respond to that with are you memeing which seems to be a pretty like it sounds dismissive. Are you memeing in a response to someone saying, I think this is a contributor to men killing themselves is them not getting positive affirmations. I, that, that, I mean, you can say that, that you are right on him. It not being a big contributing factor. You I can am. maybe make the argument. You can bring up statistics and saying that men not getting positive attention for uh, positive affirmations is not a big contributing factor to them um, leading to uh, killing themselves. <sighs> But the are you memeing is pretty class classically dismissal. If you said something to me, I said that's a meme. That would be a dismissal. I, I think this is incredibly. Now, I'm not saying you're dismissing. No, I get suicide. it. Suicide. I'm but saying you're dismissing his point. But keep in mind, straight out. Just just going this out. First of all, what was originally accused, and what was actually said, versus what we're talking about now are different things. So we're changing the the what we're actually talking about here. And I was misrepresented very disgustingly to begin with in a way that is not even close to something I believe. And now what we've now talked to is like maybe the way I worded that was a little too dismissive of his point. I never did any of the things that I was originally accused of. And I think that that's very important to acknowledge here. Do I think I could have worded that slightly better? Absolutely. I think there's a million opportunities yeah. to word things better. But this let's not, let's make no mistake. There is no there is no chance, there's no way without being completely uncharitable, uncharitable to me that you could interpret that as me dismissing men's suicide rates or dismissing issues. I just don't, I just think it's a ridiculous claim to claim that compliments are the are one of the big 
contributors. And and by the way, I don't think that's an outrageous statement to make. There are huge things that contribute to male suicide rates, including um, increased rates of drug abuse. That has that doesn't like in without going to some very very wild tree of um, unverified data about what people do and all of all this stuff. Like like we can't actually come to that conclusion. I don't think I was in the wrong there to say okay, that's a little bit of a, of a huge claim that you're making without any evidence. Worst case scenario, I think that uh, maybe I worded that a little bit badly, but to characterize me as dismissing male suicide rates is like that's like a kind of that, that's what you originally said that's that's, that's not what, what he said okay no that is not what he said either though he dismissed self-esteem in relationship problems a significant cause of male suicide and pivoted to abusive fathers this is not you dismissing male suicides it's he is accusing you of this feels this incredibly uncharitable now to this, me. well let me let me finish. The mm -hmm. thing is, the problem I'm having right now, Demon Mama, yeah. is I'm in the middle of, like, going through it, I right? Know. Going through a statement. Or we're in the middle of watching the clip. And halfway through, mm -hmm. you're like, see, proved it. And it was like, we're not even done. Or I'm trying to read a thing. I'm trying to finish it. And I'm trying to, like, get the statement done and then allow you to respond. And it's, it's getting a little difficult. Okay. 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 And I'm not... Okay. So... This is – it wasn't the dismissal of male suicides. The dismissal of his point was that's something you do acknowledge. The question here would be, so you're dismissing his point as it's an idea that this specific topic is a big contributor to men ultimately ending their lives. Okay. Do you think that um, – do you think that it's possible that perhaps I was dismissing his wording of it and not the actual sentiment? Because that feels like a, like a much more uh, reasonable and charitable interpretation of what, of what was going on here, that I was dismissing his wording of it and not the sentiment. I think that's pretty clear both from what I've stated, what I believed, and what we discussed in the conversation. That's just I just I think that people are being incredibly uncharitable in trying to say that I'm dismissing anything about about what we're actually talking about. Well, when I, I don't was very clearly just, responding to his point. I don't. Th yeah, I think you're dismissing the, his point. No, I, do I don't think, think I was dismissing well, his point. I think I was dismissing well, his wording in the way that he framed his point. I do. Okay. I never once I will, in this conversation say said that, that it wasn't that serious. The way that this is framing it is a lot different. For example, if he would have said to you, do you agree that self-esteem issues and relationship problems are a significant cause of male suicide, I think you would have given a different answer. Oh, of course I would have. Yeah. I think that's a fair and charitable thing. Like, I just didn't agree with the way that he worded hey, the it. Serves. Thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, I'm sorry, it. but it's like, I don't know. I feel like there was this, uh, there's been this consistent um, effort, both, and not on you, but to misinterpret yeah. everything that I've said as the worst possible version of it. When all I said was I just disagree with the amount, the degree to which he's saying it, which in my opinion was... You know, the way that he worded that was, you know, very, very favorable to his own point in a way that I don't agree. Okay. So, yeah. So, we could slide into a bigger point I wanted to make about the the difficult of you two communicating, or we can go through the Reddit. Which one would you like to do? And then after that, in the end segment, we're going to go through the no comment check thing. Okay. And the Destiny yeah. Section. Let's, um, I mean, you, 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 it's your show. You make the call. Okay. Um, I think I can do this quick and then I can do the other one quick. Okay. okay. So, this is a pretty large thread. It has five sections. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through the main bullet points of the sections mm -hmm. and see if, if, if there's anything of note that I think should be brought up sure. to you that we haven't discussed already. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So, responded to, there was a strong cultural push to ignore. Uh, so, this is a, a thing about ignoring men's problems. Basically, mm -hmm. the idea that during this discussion, mm -hmm. anytime a men's, uh, an issue that had to do with men or men's issues came mm -hmm. up, uh, that you would counter with, well, let's move back over here. That is what this thread is basically mm -hmm. uh, throwing at you. Okay. Okay. So the first one is responded to there's a strong cultural push to ignore men's emotional needs mm -hmm. with to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. So is that what you said? Do you agree that is a fair characterization? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Do you stand by that? Uh, yeah, I think there is. To, uh, to a certain degree, there absolutely is. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I have nothing to push back on that. There's, there's okay. nothing I can really do with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like that's a that's like a super controversial yeah. statement. I just think I think there is, to a certain degree, uh, a push for that. I think that uh, I would probably want to go into that a little more, but we didn't, and he didn't okay. want to, so yeah, we let's, didn't. Let's I could, yep. but we couldn't. We've yeah, already we gone over. We've already went. Oh, this is something though that did, was that'll put up. Okay. Further places blame on men and incorrectly attributes domestic abuse to patriarchal power. This is not something I was able to write down any notes on, okay. so I want to keep moving because I'm not ready for that conversation. Sure. Um, but if you want to make a quick comment on that, 
I yep. just read it off. Um, nope. I mean, I don't know what he means by that. That sounds like kind of a stretch argument. Um, do I think that like um, the patriarchy feeds into domestic abuse? 100%. And in fact, I've experienced it personally in my own life. Um, mm -hmm. Patriarchal structures that teach that men should have dominance over women absolutely 100% contributes to, um, to domestic abuse. I know I've seen it firsthand. And if anybody wants to ever discuss that topic, I can absolutely, I could talk about this for hours and have. And I think it harms men too. I gave up, in fact, in this very discussion, I gave an example from my own life of something along those lines. And, and that wasn't really paid much attention to. I, I know this isn't, you know, this conversation is about critiquing my side of things. And I've never seen anyone critiquing Scrub King's side of this thing. But I'm sure there's some room for, that, for him, for him to, to reflect about the things that he dismissed from my life stories and the things that were important to me that also got – that I felt got breezed over or dismissed. But that's okay. neither here nor there. Says that being led on or rejected romantically, sexually isn't really psychologically damaging. Really is in italics. I think it's italics. I forget. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Or it's bold. the dub, tilty word. Okay, yeah, italics. Yep. Um, I'm sorry. Can you reword that again? Reword or just repeat it? Okay, repeat it. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I'm answering the question. Said that being led on or rejected romantically, sexually isn't really psychologically damaging. I don't believe I ever said that. Not even close. Okay. I don't believe I ever said that once. I think I said that. Um, I think I said that. Um, it is possible. In fact, I I know for a fact that I said this. It, I think it is possible for men to um, misinterpret signals and uh, have false expectations that then leads to them being hurt. And then it might be like, for example, say like, um, say you're like 15 or something, and um, a girl like you drop your your cell phone and a girl picks it up for you like in a movie and and you see it and she's like oh hey sorry haha and puts her hair behind her her ears um and then uh and then like that guy interprets that as like really hardcore flirting and has a fantasy mm -hmm. relationship with this girl um i think that those could be real feelings that are based on like invalid assumptions that's the only thing i ever discussed in this conversation and i do think that sort of thing is um encouraged to happen a lot i think a lot of especially young men um and i mean fuck there's movies over it the joker even talked about this about um men sort of having projected relationships with people oh this was in the sopranos as well interesting it's it's a big thing that's get, that's been talked about in media of um certain men um not all men but certain men over reading it and then fake coming up with expectations that are shattered but not based on reality and i do think that those things need to be very carefully um challenged like by a therapist or by a loved one or by a friend um not necessarily by the woman or by the individual because these are just misconceptions and i think a lot of times it's harm it's harmless but nonetheless important to address okay the the thing i'm finding as we go through all of this mm -hmm. is 95 percent of this mm -hmm. right uh before we could keep going through this yeah. um i'm for example i think going through over dishonesty one is going to be pretty important since okay it's, sure. it's a, it, it stands out but 95% of this is just either miscalculation, either something being said in a way that was not productive and it got scrambled up, mm -hmm. or because it seems like on the basics of what kind of we should produce a society where women feel more comfortable and are, and are, and are more encouraged to compliment men, mm -hmm. so men uh, feel better about themselves and don't feel worthless and feel like they that they're appreciated and wanted and that it would be better for everybody, yeah. and that would be cool. And then when it gets to the specifics about who who is at fault, it's like, well, it's not really any one individual group at fault, but the overall structure that's at fault. And, of course, women have the power to give the compliments, and and and, and when it comes to men, they do not need to uh, – they need to be careful about how they read situations and going into it. Um, and this all, I'm sure both of you would agree with 100%. So now the question is, and I think this is the actually important thing I want to get out of this, is why the fuck did this conversation devolve into this? Why do you think this conversation devolved into this fucking spiral? I know exactly why this conversation turned into this spiral. And I, I know that some people are not going to like me saying this, but I know the answer to this. Here's what happened. I had a conversation that got mildly spicy with the Scrub King. Then Destiny got involved. And Destiny did one of the most uncharitable readings of the conversation I could possibly imagine. He was watching it from his mom's kitchen and screaming about me being bad faith. He also lied repeatedly about what was actually said, when it was said. Um, and then afterwards, he invited me on 
um, after telling his audience, unbeknownst to me, because I was streaming, I was doing my own content at the time, he was like, oh, listen, I'm just going to bring her on and scream at her. And I have had multiple people who were watching the stream at the time tell me that. He brought me on. He screamed at me for six minutes, which you've seen, and I'm sure many people have seen. And then he proceeded to label me as a danger to women. And then the next day, mm -hmm. oh, oh, and then after that, I got critiqued by Vosh. And then after that, the Scrub King came on and was, in my opinion, very- I have not watched the Vosh content, by the okay. way. Can you tell me to the best of your ability what his, in a very quick manner, what his critique was? Yeah, Vosh said that I should have been more patient. That was more or less what it was. Okay. That I should have tried to be more patient because if I get angry too early, it can lead to unproductive conversations. And I agree with that. And I took that advice immediately- so into the second conversation with the scrub king and the second conversation with the scrub king i will stand my guns on here was obviously bad faith he had just been raided by destiny destiny literally said oh like i'm gonna raid into somebody else but all of you can go watch this on the scrub king it was not a formal raid but it was a pseudo raid he said go watch the scrub king if you want to see more of this drama a lot uh -huh. of people went over the scrub king was even posting ecstatically about this on social media and then he did not engage with me. I even offered him, hey, let's have the whole conversation over again. I literally said, look, we can start over and erase our, our previous assumptions. He was not willing to. It got to the point where he was holding a phone up to the screen trying to time my my responses. And I said, I'm not doing this. This is disrespectful and I don't like this. And also I can see because his chat was up on the screen, I could see other content creators I know calling me autistic, calling me special. And uh, those people were not banned, by the way. I followed up with that. There was a lot of really horrible things. And then my chat started getting raided. My chat started to have people come in. And I have screenshots of all of this, of people saying like horrific transphobia, not just like a little bit, like horrific. And so I was not feeling like that was a very good conversation to be having at the moment. That second conversation was incredibly unpleasant for me. Following the okay. second conversation, he got off. He wrote his manifesto in which he, as you have just concluded, wrote a lot of very, very stretched things and yet nonetheless agreed with Destiny's conclusion, which is that I should not be platformed, which is that I should not um, be talked to, that I am too insane to have a conversation with, and that I am damaging to women. I think that is really, really fucked up. I think that is really fucked up. And all of this happened because we had one disagreement. And I think that's really wrong. I'm sorry, but people can have all of these granular critiques of whatever little word choices I did wrong. But at the end of the day, these people are pushing to have my channel destroyed. And, and I'm not kidding you. I have evidence from Destiny's subreddit of people deliberately false flagging my account. That is really bad, everyone. That's bad. Okay, so I, I've already said, uh, and I wanted to open up the discussion with that. Anybody who does that type of stuff when it comes to, like, trying to take any of your content out, they're gross people, screw them, and if any of their names could be provided to me, they'll all be banned from my community. I can provide you them. If you can provide me the names yep. and the proof of the thing that they did, of course. And if you wouldn't, if but, you would... <sighs> okay, yeah. go ahead. Okay, just 10 seconds, because, again, you've, you've gone on a while. I know. You got, you got 10 seconds. What do you want to say? Oh, oh I was just going to uh, No, it's it's not a 10 second thing. We'll ask the questions and then I'll explain myself because I think there's more okay. to this that's important. So this conversation, and this was bound to happen, mm -hmm. uh, mostly because of how the first conversation went down. Mm -hmm. uh, just Scrub King is friends with a very large streamer by the yep. name of Destiny, Stephen Bonelli, mm -hmm. a Bonelli boy, who has a very large audience and much bigger than any of ours. Yep. And, of course... While I do think that creators have responsibility for some of their um, community, they don't have responsibility for all of them. Mm -hmm. I won't go into specifics about yeah. the bannings because I haven't been able to do an investigation on that. Again, there were this fucking spread in multiple communities. Mm -hmm. So I can give you all receipts I, necessary. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. yep, you can pro provide me that once the discussion's done. The main thing I'm going to put here is that the main reason I think this all fell out is because this first conversation was so was pretty fucking toxic, in my opinion. I think... Dylan, I... Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I didn't say you gotta. I, I, I know. I know. Sorry, toxic. I didn't mean to interrupt. That was you. bad. Yeah. And the main reason why I think it was it was it was toxic and this type of thing was going to lead to this, right? Is this was a conversation that the Scrub King, um, very probably holds pretty close to his heart. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a thing that men hold very close to their heart. The fact that they don't get a lot of. If you see any Twitter thread online about men and the amount of compliments they get, it's like. I remember once in like the second grade, I like a girl said I had a nice toenail 
and that's all I've ever been told by uh, by a woman. Mm -hmm. And it's like these these out there stories about how men have never gotten that that type of positive affirmations that they're worth something mm -hmm. from the other sex, and it's something that does affect them. Yeah. Uh, personally, when when they evaluate their self worth, right? And going into a conversation like this, where they hold it that personally, mm -hmm. and I think the way it was carried out was just never going to be productive. Okay. I think insult throwing in this type of way was not going to be productive. I think maybe for a discussion of this of this level, moderation maybe should have been involved in some manner. I'm not saying me. You could have gotten anyone um, to really done that. Maybe no comment check. Obviously. Uh, maybe she could have been involved. Maybe somebody else could have been involved. Maybe Doc Midnight, who's been doing stuff, could have been involved. Mm -hmm. I think that um, for this type of a conversation, uh, for example, if I hosted a debate about something that's personal to me, for example, like rape, mm -hmm. uh, and it was a debate about what's the best way to solve sure. this issue, right? Mm -hmm. If you if you don't do it the right way, it's going to get toxic. It's going to get mean, and a lot of people are going to take it really fucking close to mm -hmm. heart, right? Sure. And I think the fact that insults were, were thrown in this discussion, I think – is is one of the big red flags for me okay but can i respond to this now because you've had a lot of sure. things to say here and i want to respond to some of this i hear what you're saying but first of all i do not believe that that is a very fair characterization of the actual conversation that happened the first you know? the first hour of the conversation was not even spicy at all i rewatched it this morning yeah, I, I challenged agree. anybody it was extremely calm what ended up getting me mad what ended up making me frustrated and what ended up i feel derailing the conversation was um that first of all there was a point at about about the 60 minute mark somewhere around there where where two times in a row i was asked a question by the scrub king and then he proceeded to go and type to his chat while i was answering and then say sorry what was the answer and he didn't even say sorry he was just like uh i don't know what you're saying and he stated multiple times in that point increasingly by the way laughing and 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 like like doing the styling dunking kind of thing on me where i was actually trying to answer his question so i do feel like there was this is not like a one-way thing at all like i feel like he was starting to get to the point where he was trying to style and, du and dunk on me and have this thing now i understand if that's an important issue to him. As it turns out, I know that maybe people can't believe that I'm a human because they've been told I'm a subhuman piece of shit multiple times. But if, but just so you know, feminism and trans issues are incredibly fucking important to me. This is shit that has personally affected me greatly. So um, I would like to submit to the jury that uh, maybe this issue is really important to me as well. I should, have like, I should have like court music in the background. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is like, at the end of the day, we're both, we're both adults. Um, you know, I'm quite a bit older than the Scrub King, but I don't know the I don't know the Scrub King's age until like very recently. Um, but I assumed that we could have like a a random conversation about it. Um, it was off of it was based off of a meme. We weren't even originally talking about compliments. In fact, the original conversation was we I literally joked at the beginning that it was meme science. So it spun into a separate a separate topic, and I think that if it's an issue that's too emotional for anyone to involve in then I think we have to be able to communicate that to one another as adults and as professional streamers. But he chose to stream it as well. So like, yeah, did it get a little bit spicy at the end? Absolutely. But what has followed is not even close to spice. And I can't believe that I have been, again, subjected to days of what I consider genuine character assassination of saying I'm a piece of shit who harms feminism because if in the worst least charitable version of this i was perhaps a little too mean an hour after talking to somebody who's an adult so, and a streamer i just so, don't think that's fair i i will say this immediately because i even though like i'm not i'm technically not supposed to i should um I, obviously i don't think you're uh, a negative uh, to feminism i don't think you're a negative to any of these things do you think i'm subhuman uh, do i think let me one second. Let me get a calculator out. Um, do you think I'm a disgusting person? Yeah, I, I, I gotta Ill? do the. First, I can only do so many calculations at once. A five times carry to two. Um, I just missed it. I guess you're not. Sorry. Damn. I missed the calculation by point two. <sighs> Didn't make it to the human the human category. Yeah. Um. I no, just... no, no. I meant I meant you just got in there. You just. Oh, applied. oh. Okay. So I'm almost okay. subhuman. All right. Well, thanks. I appreciate the kind words. I mean, they're very kind in comparison to what I've received uh, recently. And keep in mind, oh. um, this is hardly again. This would now, be now, wait, no, wait. No, no, I want to. I want to okay. clarify. You've you've gone. You've gone off for a little bit. Okay. I'm going to sure, say. Sure. I think the main reason. Um, uh, that that destiny is engaging in the way he is and of course i don't speak for destiny and i know he probably doesn't even like that i'm doing this or whatever i don't i don't know but that's fine it's whatever i don't need to agree with anybody everybody on everything they do I agree um 
is that he doesn't think you engage in good faith. He doesn't think that you're a good faith actor. So he has no reason to engage with you in good faith. And so when he called you and he told us, Chad, I'm going in there, he was just fucking around and he was fucking with you. And that is primarily what he was doing. I don't okay. think he went in there. Yeah. And I think he did want to get one question across. And that one question was the one he was trying to get across. And it was the one that had to do uh, the about empowerment. And once he got that, he just fucking dipped. And he yeah. saw he dipped. And he lied he to me also. He, he, didn't go yeah. in, he didn't go in there to have the productive discussion. Okay. Uh, that is 100% true. And I think the reason he did that is he doesn't think that you were in, acting in good faith. Okay. Why do you think somebody would get the impression? Because this is he isn't the only person got that impression. There's been a lot of people who mm -hmm. are going to you and going to other people saying, you're a bad faith actor. Mm -hmm. People have told me, uh, longstanding members of my community, don't, don't, don't platform with this person. Why do you think they don't think you're acting in good faith? And why would it even be to somebody, other people who like you, like Vosh, to the point where they would also critique you on your performance? Oh, um, I mean, okay, there's a couple of things I can state here. Well, first of all, um, I oh, want- Oh, wait, Lolorito, um, in chat, um, everybody in chat, I just want to tell you right now, I'm barely looking at you. I don't care what you, uh, a lot of you have to say on this. You're all p extremely fucking partisan hacks when it comes to here. You all have parasocial relationships with your streamers, and I don't trust you on anything. Continue, sorry. Yeah. Um. So there's a couple of ways that I could uh, that I could address this, but first of all, I just wanna, I do wanna just say, um, let's even make the assumption that I am in bad faith, and I assert I am not. I guarantee you, I care about these issues and want to have conversations with people. I literally said that even before I even started the conversation with Describe King, even if it got spicy. I do engage in good faith. Um. But even if I was engaged in good faith, do you think that him not having to engage in good faith is um, like, do you think that excuses or that acts as a defense for him calling me subhuman, for calling me deranged and mentally ill, for him saying that I should be, I'm Wait, sorry, and I, let me, do you want me to word, do you want me to quote him? I wish I that she would die and, and, dis, and, and fade into obscurity on the internet forever. Do you think that these words of course, are none okay? of this none of this yeah. i will tell you right now none of that's okay okay none of that none of that, that was is destiny okay. by the way now, the of leader course, of that community I, let me finish yeah I, I i don't have any of the clips on that i i, I asked do. around for the clips nobody could if you send me the clips i'll have them i'll review them oh wait I'll you even... wait i think you watched it didn't you didn't you watch the I, bird I, brains? I watched the i did watch the bird brain yeah. I, I i had to i watched it at like two times speed so maybe he said it really fast I, yeah, he did. Back, I, it. No, I can give but you a time stamp on that Give me timestamps. I'll, I'll do it. Absolutely. Now, I don't agree with any of that, a hundred percent. But my main thing here is to try to find out why the hell it happened in the first place. Okay. What spiraled it out? Yeah. Because I can't, by talking to you, make destiny improve or oh. make disrupting improve. I yeah. can only try to find, make it so this doesn't happen again. Because I think this is pointless, and and there's a middle of one of the most important Senate elections in the world, mm -hmm. and the main di discourse on Twitter is. Uh, compliments and fucking this nonsense, right? I never and, thought that was even gonna happen. And, and so, my thing is, and, and this is a genuine question for you before mm -hmm. I offer my advice. Mm -hmm. What do you think you could have done differently to avoid this whole thing from happening and, have, and to have had a productive discussion with Scrub? To have a productive discussion with Scrub, um, well, honestly, I think I think I could have pretty easily had a second discussion with scrub and we probably could have cleared out our issues but um i'm gonna tell you just flat up what happened dgg got involved destiny got involved and when destiny got involved that's when everything went to hell everything went super to hell when destiny got involved and i don't know what his problem is i can't explain it he literally says he hates me so i if he's willing to cop to that on on in live on video which i have timestamps for that he hates me and thinks that he would be very happy if i just disappeared forever I think that might be the main motivation as to why the timeline of the guy with the biggest platform out of all of us hates my guts. I think that might be the biggest reason. Dude, and also not... keep in mind that most people, the vast majority of people who have seen this video did not see it through me or the Scrub King. They saw it with Destiny's commentary over it. Destiny's very, very vitriolic, and in my opinion, straight up dishonest commentary over it. So the vast majority of people came into this so, with his commentary over it. Let me ask you a question. Let me, let me get more specific then. Okay, mm -hmm. what do you think you can do without mm -hmm. Destiny, without Scrub? Sure. What could you do to avoid something like this from happening in the future when you engage with people? Yeah. Because you know what? Maybe next time it's... It's the Lusseldorf, not Destiny. Sure. Right? Yeah. It's some other random streamer, mm -hmm. and you don't know how it works. What can you do to stop that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what I can do to uh, stop that is to um, 
less frequently have spur of the moment discussions um, and instead only schedule them out with time for everyone to be completely cool. Um, I think another thing that I could do is be even more careful with my words than I already am. And I attest that I am rather careful with my words, although I am human. I am sometimes capable of getting annoyed or bothered by something that someone does to me. I can be even more careful with my words in the way that I communicate. Um, I think that another thing that I could do is um, I could I could use... I will say I could use a little less clickbait. I didn't realize that clickbait bothered him that much. I don't get personally bothered by like a little bit of clickbait. Um, although, well, listen, I, I think that maybe that clickbait was uh, was a little much, but that's fine. I can admit that. I can admit the clickbait was probably there, but I, if he would have messaged me about it, I would have taken it straight down and I would have said, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to fucking make you feel bad about it. I was, I just thought we had a spicy conversation. I've had many okay. spicy conversations. So yeah. There's, there's the things that I think I can do better in the future. But that said, I do not accept any responsibility for what has happened to me following the first conversation. And I think it is in, it is just so unjust that anyone would try to put this these wild, wild accusations of me damaging feminism, damaging trans people, that I should be disappeared off the internet. I think that anybody who wants to try and put that on me instead of at the source is being really dishonest and unjust. Mm -hmm. So I would challenge the audience to rethink that. Okay, one second. Uh, Lorito, Victoria, and chat, you know what? I'm not going to ban you because I've learned that just randomly banning people it sends them to a hate train, which eventually leads to blocks and DMs and spreads of whatever. Yep. But uh, I will say that both of your comments annoy me uh, a lot. And the reason they annoy me in chat and the reason why this is annoying me a lot what I'm seeing from chat is, yes, this is a somewhat uh, – distasteful and, and gross or whatever discussion because the, the dialogue up to this point has been nothing but that there's no way for me to have a discussion about something that has been toxic ever since it started and not talk about the toxicity or not talk about how could have things been said better or how can we stop it from going forward or for me to be like well dylan don't you see all the bad things happen to demon mama why are you asking demon mama for or why are you defending demon mama look at the bad thing she did this and that there's no way possibly for me to do that so this is what you can do you can turn off your computer you can get i don't know dig a hole in the ground put a rock over it and plug your ears because that's the only way you're going to be able to interact with discourse and not jump in and have it not like have these types of toxicity involved at one point because you're not going to be able to have any conversation at all currently on the internet mm -hmm. and that's why what i'm doing here is not saying that what has happened to up to this point is good and if you don't like me saying that tone should be better or we could say things differently then okay then i'll say this about you um i disagree with you and uh your baby should be suplexed off of a building uh 100 feet high uh into a river in uh starcraft okay don't you i but i'm just i disagree with you don't don't tone police me I mean, I could have probably said that better and we could have a better dialogue there, but don't tone police me. The tone there, just just go with my point of what I said. Don't look at the ending of it and how that could have created a toxic dialogue. Just don't tone police me, okay? Okay, there you go. Yeah, you know, the, yeah, yeah. the, well, there I, you go. Okay. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, again, um, my initial conversation with the Scrub King got what I would consider mildly spicy. I don't even think it was that spicy to begin with. Um, but where this really got messed up is once Destiny got involved. And again, Destiny gave his... Victoria! Oh, wait, one moment. Victoria, I was... Okay, you actually... I did not... Oh, we're done. Okay, actually, done. Never mind. I can't... Can, please continue. I'm, I, I can't look at chat because they can't okay. understand any... I mean, again, uh, Destiny has an advantage in that he has a massive audience, and he told that audience that I was the worst faith, faith actor ever, and people just took it and ran with it. They never actually went to do it. Nobody came, very few people came to actually talk to me or find out what my content's about. They just took his word for it. And it, in the clip that we watched of Bird Brains, you can see just how just how he straight up admitted, I don't want to help this person. I don't want this person to be better. I just yeah. want them gone. Yeah. That's because ridiculous. His his mind in his mind, sure. He sees you as nothing but a bad faith actor and somebody who is actively hurting the movement, mm -hmm. and you're doing Dunkaroos to get big on YouTube. Yeah, right? but, but that's how he is viewing the situation, and so he's working off of a framework where he doesn't. That's why he didn't post it on YouTube because he doesn't even want to give. He he did it 
Okay, then why do you think he didn't post it on YouTube? Listen, I'm not gonna just I'm to not make gonna, the point gonna, on the random panel listen, show that gets. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna think on that. I'm not gonna speculate on why he didn't post our first debate onto YouTube. I will not speculate on why he didn't post our first. I debate I think it's because he probably doesn't like you. Maybe he doesn't want to give you attention. Could be. You get yeah, it could be that. You know, I don't know. I'm not gonna speculate on it. You come to your own conclusions why he didn't do that. Um, seems a little weird. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think Destiny hates my guts, and I don't personally think that's a good enough, a good uh, justification for um, going on an unbelievably unhinged tirade calling someone subhuman. He's entitled to his opinions, but he's also entitled to his opinions being wrong. And I think unequivocally that Destiny, and in this case, by extension, to Scrub King, who has signed off on all of this ridiculousness so far by sitting there and even laughing along with it, never saying ne nothing that... Uh, publicly to destiny as destiny was screaming about me being subhuman is also um uh, implicated in, in that to a certain degree um a pretty serious one seeing as how was, he was on a panel and had the ability to say destiny like calm the fuck down dude um and he didn't and he also published a manifesto about me that just contained absolute falsehoods about what i said i feel like this is a pretty uh, open and shut case of some people being very very don't know why personally mad and taking it to an unbelievable degree and i would say this mirrors very very much um cancel culture this is what i think the most distilled version of cancel culture is it is i don't like what you said i think you were maybe a little bit too mean at the worst that's the worst interpretation and therefore i think i have the right to call you subhuman i have the right to tell my fan base um to uh that that i don't care if you get harassed i have the right to um uh, ban you brand mentions of you from all of my websites and all of my communities and then also let's let's get the real censure in where it gets really sick is that a bunch of people have come at me a bunch of people from destiny's community including destiny himself have accused me of never having receipts for the transphobia and stuff that i received but as i proved on my stream earlier you can watch it if you want to i showed those receipts i te i took my time to to photograph and document when and where very transphobic and hateful comments were directed to me i sent that to destiny's mod team destiny then lied about that and i also have the logs from his own chat where he admitted that they are no longer going to be enforcing any such bans from stuff that was submitted by me so it's funny he talks about oh well nobody ever comes up with it i did and i was denied i was denied what was the reason the reason was i am a transphobe according to him so that's funny it almost seems like um the 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 idea that they ban bad people from their audience who are abusive is actually just for show and I find that kind of disgusting, especially given that I'm being accused actively of being a subhuman piece of trash, that I should die and disappear from the internet, that I should, uh, that I am harming women, that I am harming trans people. I think this is outrageous. And I recognize, and I'm more than willing to sit here and take all the heat. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Did anybody, and this is something I've gotten a lot of DMs from about sure. uh, in the last five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, did anybody in your chat call it Scrub King the N-word? There was, yep, there was one person, and let me tell you about this. There was one person who came into my website chat um, and used the, the N-word. They had a, an account for less than 30 seconds. They only came in after I had called out someone in his chat for calling me. Are they banned? They were literally on my stream. You can watch me go. I interrupted my conversation with the Scrub King. I said, what the fuck do you think you're doing? I typed into my chat, IP ban myself. I personally IP banned a brand new trash account. One instance. That was it. And then afterwards, in order to make sure that it didn't happen again, I deputized five new mods on, on YouTube specifically to make sure it wouldn't happen again. One slipped through a, thir a less than 30, second, uh, 30 seconds old account. I personally IP banned it. And if you don't believe me, you can watch the footage because I did it live. I literally said, hold on, I'm sorry to Scrub King. There's an asshole in my chat and I destroyed them. And just so you know, just to just to add one more little bit onto the onto the self defense of me, I know for a fact that one of the cre one of the creators in our space who called me autistic and special is not banned from the chat, and was never pers. I, I I I maybe they talked to him behind closed doors, but they're not banned from the chat. Despite being assured that they would be, they're not, and they were a creator in this space, a creator in this space with a relatively large platform. So. Um, not only did I personally make sure that my community was clean of such things, they weren't a member of my community, 30-second old account, um, 
I personally IP banned them, and the same was not given to me. This has been one of the most negative experiences I have ever had in my entire career and in my entire life. And this has been not, it's not just a community. It comes straight from the top. It comes straight from the top. And in, his, in the man's own words, he fucking hates me. So there we go. That describes basically everything that's been going on. And honestly, I'm very tired of this topic, but I'm more than willing to be grilled. On Friday, you can. I'm posting the footage. I spent approximately nine hours being grilled on this. And people came away feeling that it was, I was clear to ask, do you feel like I engaged with you in good faith? Do you feel like I didn't answer any of your questions? And the answer was always no, with except one exception of a guy who was really, really trolling us really hard and was really rude to people in my chat. Other than that, we had nine hours of people coming and giving me scrutiny. And now I've done, I've come on your show and you've given me some of the toughest questions I've ever been asked in my career um, with regard to stuff like this. I think that the facts speak for themselves, but if people are not willing to look at the facts, if they're just going to take their favorite big streamer's word for it, then of course you're going to get mis misled. Of course you're going to conclude that I'm the worst person on the planet, the most disgusting content creator that ever exists, a mentally ill trans person who hates all other trans people, a screaming SJW. By the way, all of these are direct quotes to things that Destiny has said about me. And I've never okay. said anything like that about Destiny or his community. I did say that my ex that one thing that uh, that I did say was that my experience with Destiny and his community, uh, community has included a lot of transphobia, and that is true. That is a fact. Okay. okay. So I'm going to say my last thing. We're going to close it off. Please do. Uh, here. So my main thing uh, with this discussion is that obviously I don't endorse a lot of what Destiny uh, did say. If you can provide these, I, again, I didn't see the clips. Yep. If you can give me timestamps. Gladly. Uh, I, I will review them uh, personally. Uh, but working under the assumption that they were said, mm -hmm. of course, that's bad dialogue. I don't think you're you're undermining uh, the left overall. I don't think your uh, your overall presence online. Of course, everybody has individual instances where where I think they could have messed up or done something bad. Yeah. I will say, and you can disagree me with on, on this, that in this specific discussion, uh, you could have done better. And I think you have already acknowledged that there are areas you could have done better. Of course, I think having more patience in the discussion uh, towards the later half would have been good. I think the the title of the video was inherently inflammatory and it was it was misrepresentation and it was something you saw that he took offense to and probably knew that putting it in the title when you saw he took immediate offense to that would rub people the wrong way specifically him most definitely. Mm -hmm. You um did call him a clown. You call him uh, a, a a lying weasel or was a lying snake or something along those lines. I have I, I wrote it down because I heard it. Sure. And everybody was spamming clowny modes too. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, I think that type of dialogue. Oh, of course, and you did call him incelly. That was it. Was like incel. Uh, you did I call think him incelly, uh, in his was, own words, I think he said uh, that take feels a little incelly to me. Now that was a take and not him. And he did admit that he, in his own words, said that that's what I said. So I don't think I did that. Now and, I did. And you, I did, and I will. And, and look, you can hold me to this. There was a, a threat. There I, can was a, read the, I can read the whole quote if you want. I know what you're about to bring up probably. The second one? Yes, the second one. Yeah, the second one. I can one. read the quote mm -hmm. for chat if they want me to hear, to hear the quote. Sure. That was an embarrassing waste of time. This was the second one with the mm -hmm. phone or whatever timing yep. and everything. He can cry. That was one of the most embarrassing and sad things to have ever seen in my entire life. I did not think that before. I do think he is a little incel now. And I have a question next to this actually I haven't brought up yet. Mm -hmm. Do you think Scrub is an incel? Do I think Scrub is an incel? Because you mm. did call him an incel here. I said I think he's a little incel, you, this, but yeah. Do you think um, he's? No, do I don't think, think he's an, an incel. incel. I don't think he's an incel. I do think some of the things that he's engaged in here are um sh are actually troublingly close to some of the tactics used by incel communities, and I think he would benefit from ac acknowledging that and recognizing how, uh, you know, jumping on board with a very virulent um uh community even if even if he doesn't like me that jumping on board and a, a functionally signing off on the shit that destiny and his community are doing now is a little bit a lot like what some incel communities would do but no i don't think he's an incel my worst critique of him was after he fucking screamed in my face after destiny screamed in my face and he held a camera up and i said yeah i think he's a little incel -y now but yeah do I think he's an incel? No. I don't think he's an incel. I don't have a problem. Like, I barely have a problem with Discrub King. The thing that I have a problem so with- So you want to retract calling him an incel then? Yes, I will retract calling him a little incel. Yes, if you want me to retract that, sure. I do think, but again, I assert, 
He should fucking think about some of these tactics that he's been engaging in, for sure. But for the record, I never... That was the second conversation after it got very heated, never before. And by the way, in Destiny's community, there were multiple posts. Uh, in fact, Destiny... I don't know if Destiny runs it or if somebody else does, but the Destiny Out of Context mm -hmm. account... Um, posted a video that did not have destiny in it at all but rather had my conversation with dario and a smash cut to a contextless clip of me saying that and implied that i lied to dario which i did not and that clip was sent to me a lot yep it was a lie and that was not representative of what actually happened i told the truth and destiny's community including the out, out of context account lied and deliberately manipulated that that video that video was edited so somebody did that intentionally with the goal of, of spreading misinformation about me. And I think that is a way across any lines that, have, that I've ever encountered It was, it was in sent industry. to me, and so when, I was, when the clip was originally sent to me, I asked the person who sent it to me to send me the original VOD, and I watched the VOD. And I, I, that's actually where I originally got this quote, which is the one I just read you, mm -hmm. which is why I wanted to specifically ask if you really thought uh, he yeah, wasn't I don't think he's because... an incel. I said at the worst. I said I think that after this conversation, I think he's a little, a little incel. And I meant like, like when I say that, I think like that makes it clear. Like I don't like I, the way that I was wording that. If you listen to it, I meant like well, incel. Yeah. I felt, I felt more like he was calling him little and then an incel. Oh, okay. Well, if people interpret it that way, okay, that's fair. Like, like, yeah. like, oh, he's such a little racist. Like, if I called Ben Shapiro, uh, like, a little racist, it would be like, he's tiny. Okay, well, that was, that I feel like, like that's the, the again, that's, thought, there's, that is within the range of, that is within the range of charitability that I, my wording there was probably too weak. And if it, if it, if it, like, like, I don't think he's an incel. So I'm not going to sit here and defend him as an, and like, say he's an incel. I think some of the things that he brought up there are mm -hmm. a little incel-y, but that's about it. And that's all I've ever said. And if that one was misread or if I worded can that I, incorrectly and I am Can I ask you specifically, it? what sure. has he said that is a little incel -y? Which oh, What's the thing that I makes mean, you think is, man, that's, oof. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is a really we, complicated. We've got like, yeah. this is, I know we don't got a lot of time left. Yeah. So this will be I the mean, this is question. a really complicated thing. What do I think? I mean, I think there was a lot that happened in that conversation that I felt was um, like very uncharitable. I think one of the worst examples was when he um, was discussing uh, when we were discussing streamers and how he said that you know uh lonely and horny men are uh are impaired and uh a streamer a a streamer streaming um and getting donations from them is is exploitative that uh and and then this was discussed by by the way by wasn't later it because on. of the parasocial relationships um that was it? discussed later but he did say and i and i have a quote on this i can get you the let me just bring up this exact quote let me i have it right here uh where is it here um, it's up here. I said, uh, he said that, where is this? Hold what on, let me fuck? find her. I just, ch holy shit. I just checked my Twitter. I have 106 notifications. Yeah, I can imagine. It's been wild. Um, I'm trying to find this exact timestamp here. He said, the wording that he said was, I wanted to make sure I get it direct, as direct as possible. But he said, this is 1,000. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the only reason oh. this happens is because women do not compliment men enough. This is 1,000% true. That is something that I feel is a very, very direct. Saying this is 1,000% true when you're trying. You repeat it one more time for the, me. He said, first, he said, the only reason reason that happens is because women do not compliment men enough what is the that part that what is uh the to? only reason that happens is was in his mind saying um that when men r respond sexually aggressively to women um and he said the only reason that happens is because women do not compliment men enough and then he said this is 100 1000 percent true is the exact quote that i have i have a timestamp for that if you want 5400 in my video there's also a couple of other points that i thought were um were really really uh extreme um that were not acknowledged like again for example this one was a little bit earlier but the uh being horny or lonely is on par with being drunk or high he said in his own words that it is the exact same thing as alcohol and drugs he later walked that back but never never admitted that he walked it back um and then also continued making the argument as if he hadn't walked it back so those are some of the things and then also i do think um i do think that um there is something a little bit fucked up about uh, in general about thinking that it's okay to after you have a small very very small disagreement with a woman online to then proceed to completely lie about her frame her as a damage to women and then sign off uh, implicitly or um or unimplicit or directly in a mass harassment campaign against that woman i think that is something that the scrub king could really really learn from because that's where it's gotten out of control
I, I got five minutes. The, the only thing I could push back on possibly there would be the one thing when he says it's the, most certainly not the only thing that contributes to it. But I do think that a man being uh, starved of attention, then being given attention, combined with how we have a chaser mentality, creates mm -hmm. a toxic environment that could meet, meet, uh, lead Len, men towards a terrible, terrible route yep. towards being uh, obsessed or with a stalking woman yep. doing terrible things. And I would agree that with you. That I do think would be 100% accurate. And I do think that if he just took the word only out there, that statement of his would have been 100% legitimate. I agree with you, but he also followed it up by saying, and I quote again, this is 1,000% true, which states that he's pretty much not on, not with willing to you know if you say yeah. something is a thousand percent true i feel i agree with you but i don't agree with him because he said it very differently than you using different words that imply a very different meaning and i think it's okay to hold someone to their words and i have okay. been and i've been willing to say where i was wrong and what i did wrong i will agree my video title was uh inflammatory i do that all the time i think a lot of people do this one maybe was too much and if, if he wants me to i'll change it there you go i literally will and i would have right away i just I didn't think it was going to become this big of an issue, and to be honest, it had already started blowing up from a Destiny giving it attention before that video even went out. So, okay. yeah. Okay, one second. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of heat right now on on, uh, on Twitter. Okay, what about? Um, um, so I just want to make very clear that I did not set up this discussion just to give Demon Mama like an unopposed platform. I was very clear with Demon from the beginning that uh, that I wanted to have a discussion with her and to uh, poke at these ideas in a productive manner. And so uh, I, I'm not trying to be nitpicky. I'm not trying to uh, go after Demon Mama in any way. I was very clear to her yesterday what the type of discussion was gonna be here. I was very clear that like, I'm gonna, I'm not giving you softballs. I'm gonna give you hard balls here. Do people think um, that's not what happened? Like, I feel like this is literally I'm, one I'm of being, the hardest I'm, I've ever been I'm, grilled. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I mean, you even put it in your YouTube video, getting grilled by like you were, you were I was expecting clear. you to no. grill me, and you grilled me. I don't know. Like, I feel like there's no winning with some of these people. There really is. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 what I, the thing is. At the end of the day, what I've learned <sighs> is, uh, you need to treat a chat um, with. You need to go in just assuming that you're gonna get something stupid said at you at all times. Yeah. And if you get something nice said towards you, then you can be pleasantly surprised. But if, if at all, if you like, like have this high expectation of how people engage in dialogue, it's it's not gonna it's not mm -hmm. gonna end well for you anyway i got like three minutes before i gotta get to this panel show so Fair enough. you got any uh last words oh wait wrestle kingdom we are doing when thursday thursday okay yeah i cool. believe thursday right. yeah or, or like, maybe, maybe tonight, tonight, but... even earlier in the day or tomorrow's yeah, yeah. fine too but or because i have i have ctv movie night see i'm oh. having bipartisan fucking um, yeah, hey that's awesome i bet uh movie I have, nights and, listen uh, i have a feeling that watching movies with ctv is probably a lot more fun than arguing with ctv i would love to watch movies <laughs> with ctv sometime he, all right he, he he has he has interesting movie tests i'll tell you that oh okay anyway. <laughs> Oof. no all it's right. not it's not it's not interesting that way i mean it's le legitimately interesting oh okay like, all right good he's got he's, like, he's a man of fine taste i see exactly yeah. he's a man of fine taste he's a beethoven type character yeah yeah um, yeah, the only thing I'll say is, uh, for those of you out there who think I'm the worst piece of shit, uh, human being on the planet, for those of you who've concluded I'm completely in bad faith, I, I challenge you to go take a look at some of my other content okay. and see if that's actually true, or if you've just been sort of listening to what one person who self-admittedly hates me and thinks I'm subhuman has said. Um, you can find all of my content at demonmama.com. It's very easy. You can also go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash demon mama m-a-m-a -A. and you can look for yourself you don't have to follow me you don't have to like me i'm not asking for your friendship i'm just asking people to stop frigging lying about me because that's been across the line people have been lying and lying and lying and it's leading to people mass flagging my account and also calling me subhuman and saying i'm a harm to trans people and that really fucks me up because that is like the thing i devote my life to and I don't think that I'm even close to as bad as I, any of you. I got to use the bathroom. I got one right. minute, so I, I, need, I need you to dip. Okay. Get on it. I'm out of here. Yeah. All right. See, See you later, later, Dylan. Oh, also, this won't be uploaded to YouTube after you've already discussed. That's fine. Are you okay if I do? Uh, if you upload to YouTube, that's fine. Uh, hmm. I just I just, I'll be I just sure don't to spend keep any the time to more than necessary. The thing is, the more flames I add to this, the longer it's going to last. And I just yep. I just wanted to have this discussion on how it would be more productive. You have a nice Thank night. Thank you. Okay? Bye. Okay. See you later.